Sponsors for Stolat with Anya are Stolat Bar, a restaurant bar featuring European-inspired cuisine, 4475 Transit Road at Eastern Hills. Cruzchiki Bakery, combining old-world European treats with modern-day fare in Lancaster and Eastern Hills. Are you interested in featuring Simply Pierogi on your menu? Perfect for your restaurant or venue. Contact us today. Events by Stolot. Planning an event? Host it with us. Transit Road in Eastern Hills. And Pierogi Pete's, now open at Casey and Transit Road in Amherst. Hello everyone, it's Anya Dushan. Welcome to Stolot with Anya. It's cooking, conversations, and cocktails. On this episode, would you believe waffles can be healthy and packed with protein? Meet our guest from 716 Nutrition who says this treat is not just for breakfast anymore. Cody is brewing up a popular espresso drink that will energize and mesmerize. Then meet two entrepreneurs who share the importance of how hard work, vision, and passion is the recipe for success. We have a place for you at the table from our beautiful location at Easton Hills. Welcome to Stole Lot with Anya. Hello everyone, here we are on another episode, Stole Out with Anya. I have beautiful Tori Adams here from 716 Nutrition. Welcome to the show. Thank you, I'm so excited to be here. I love it. I've known Tori for uh, quite a while. Tori um, went to high school with our bartender Cody, our son, my son Cody. Um, I want to say it's been a while. How long has it been? A while. Oh my gosh. St. Mary's yeah, graduation. Almost like 10 years. <laughs> Wow, time old. flies. I know, I'm feeling I'm old. old. <laughs> so um, they graduated together, and um, we Tori's been doing a lot of great things. Now owns her own business. Giant. Tell me a little bit about it. <laughs> yeah, so we opened in 2021. Okay. So right after the pandemic, it was a little madness, yeah. but super exciting. I had to switch a career paths and kind of jumped in full force, signed a lease spontaneously opened up a smoothie cafe and here we are right I mean, across the street yeah which is right wonderful. across the street i know it's so we've been tasting a lot of different things um often on the way you know to uh to work when i'm on my way to still lot um we'll stop in and get a nice smoothie um and now you'll actually be making what are you making today yeah so we do more than just smoothies which is really exciting um we do protein waffles um and those have been a hit that's our newest item kind of on the menu um, and we'll top it with different toppings. We do featured flavors. So mm. in the waffle, you're getting 30 grams of protein, only about 300 calories, um, 21 essential vitamins and minerals. So kind of a spin-off of your standard waffle. Oh, it sounds so good. Well, let's get that mix going. Yeah. Tell me what you have. Okay, so we're gonna start with our protein that we're gonna add right into the bowl. It's super easy. Okay. Is it just um, one scoop of protein? We do two scoops, so okay. it's a plant-based. This one is a plant-based protein. It mm -hmm. is also gonna be a gluten-free waffle, so Ooh, I wow. have celiacs for all my gluten-free friends. I get ya. Um, and then we use a, another kind of high-protein flour. You can also sub any form of like gluten-free flour, almond flour gluten-free baking flour, regular flour, um, that works too. Mm -hmm. uh, we use a baking powder, so we add about a teaspoon of that in there. Okay. So we just did our two scoops of protein, another two scoops or about a half a cup of gluten-free flour, or we use a higher protein flour. Okay. Um, the teaspoon of baking powder, we're gonna add in one egg. This adds in a little bit more protein as well. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> Sorry, I just didn't see that there. <laughs> One I love that because I think often when you think of waffles, you know, you think personally, I think of too many carbs. Right, high carbs, you know, yeah. adding some sugar. Like I want, if I'm going to eat something, I really, you know, we, we want it to be um, nutritious. And, right. Um, but the protein's huge. I love, love what, what you've created. So did right. you actually create the recipe yourself? We did. A lot of trial and error. It's a lot. Of, my dad has tried so many baked goods that have protein in them. Um, lots of trial and errors, but this one, I think we really took the cake on. So, okay. um, And then we add in about two and a half ounces of water. Okay. So just okay. plain water. Add that in. You could sub milk if you wanted to. That works as well. Okay. I like water a little less calories. Um, I don't know, for my lactose-free friends, it kind of satisfies that need. Yes, so yeah, wonderful. these become lactose-free, gluten-free. And it already smells good, you know. That right, it smells like batter, right? It does. <laughs> I'm like, it literally say, smells that's like a, that's comfort food, <laughs> right? I know. So yeah, we'll just mix this all together. So you said you've uh, 
been playing around with this recipe for a while. Yeah, yep. And so for many trials and failures at home, um, but it, this one is pretty simple. I think that's why I really like it. Um, little little ingredients here and there, mix it all together, mm, add it in. a spatula over here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I might need that. I didn't think of that. It, once we get this in the iron. We will take your time. We want it perfect. So yeah, we try. <laughs> Kate and I are gonna be munching on it later. I know. Oh, and then so you can good. pick your toppings with it too. I brought some, we'll add strawberries later. I've, at the store we add in, you can add in chocolate chips if you want. We have cacao nibs, different things that you can kind of make it fun. So it doesn't have to just be a plain waffle. Mm -hmm. right. So we have, so um, we offer brunch here. on Sundays here at Stolat. Which oh is super goodness. fun. Yes. So um, we offer regular waffles. Maybe oh. we'll be able to feature this amazing <laughs> waffle that you have I here know. today. That would be amazing. That would so be great. Iron has been on. I just give it a little spray down. You can use any nonstick spray, really. It's totally up to you. Okay. Um, I'll spray olive oil, spray coconut oil, spray um, avocado oil. I've seen all of that. And then we'll just put it in the center of the iron. So give me a second. Bear with me that in there. I like to oh, keep it right so in the dead pretty. center. Spread it around. We might have some spillage, but we should be good. Get that there. Gorgeous. So your dad helps you at the store. He, he does. is so lovely. We love your parents. He does. Um, so he is um, there pretty much every time I walk in. Yes. Um, and it's so great, but I've also seen your parents here often at Stolat having dinner. They love it um, here. I didn't realize that your dad plays, is he a, he's a musician, yeah, correct? Yeah, he sings with the Buffalo Philharmonic Chorus. So oh. yes, he loves to sing. He's always at my store. He's never on the schedule usually, but he's always there. He's always there. Oh, he's always up. there. I the girls family know him. business. You know, they, it's a true oh, family business. It's yep. so wonderful. Yeah, even on Sundays, we're open on Sundays. He'll say, I'm coming after church. Like he comes from class. He loves it. Um, so yeah, he, you'll always find him there. <laughs> oh, it's amazing um, to to see you know what you've done so far, mm -hmm. and I know you continue you continue to grow um, as you add all these wonderful uh, recipes and I guess I say dishes. You know, like it's mm -hmm. a restaurant, but right. you know, a lot of different offerings that you have for your um, for your customers. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, we definitely try to keep it funky, fresh, new, up and coming. Mm -hmm. Stay on top of the trends. <laughs> so, do you do we have to flip the waffle maker or? Yeah. So this specific waffle maker, it is a flip one to kind of start the timer yep. to kind of keep it heating through it. Um, if you have just a standard, you can just close it, and as I most have that little green light on top, and it'll just turn on. Okay. Um, we set the timer. What I found to work really well is about three minutes and 30 seconds. Perfect. Um, sometimes the timers on the waffles make them a little too dark, a little more dense. Um, this kind of is just enough time to get it fluffy, elginy, and then off the iron. Mm. I know. I love that. So yeah. you're open seven days a week? Or we are, yeah. yep. Wow. That's, that's, yep, seven yeah. days a that's week. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was very ambitious when we first opened. Yeah. Um, I did a lot of the hours by myself when we first started. Um, but yeah, seven days a week, Sundays and Saturdays. So on the weekend, nine to three. And then weekdays, we're open eight to five. Wonderful. So we can find you on Instagram? Yes, yep. Instagram is our main source of promotion. Um, we keep that the most up to date right now. Mm -hmm. um, working on getting more platforms in, but Instagram for sure, you can find us at 716 nutrition underscore. Perfect. And ooh, what else do I have? I can't wait to taste it. I know, I know we have we about a minute, minute left. Yeah, a minute 20. Um, yep. So tell me more. So what's next? What do you think you'll be mm. doing um, at the restaurant? Are you creating so, some additional um, offerings? Mm. Are you? I know you work a lot with local vendors. You've been doing some yoga over there. Yeah. Um, doing a lot of different things. So tell me yeah. more. So what's next? Recently, right now, we're doing a kind of more a give back movement for fundraising and giving back to the kids. So we're gonna have, we try to do free fitness hours um, at least once a month, bring people in the store, give them a free workout to kind of give back to the community and raise money for a great cause. Um, so up next, we have our free kind of deck the parking lot neon. So that's gonna be happening in May. Really excited, we got t-shirts made for it. Um, gonna be donating the proceeds to a local charity. So really excited about that. And then Beautiful. up next, as in menu items, we've really had requests for more kind of foodie takes. So more like protein parfaits, um, protein donuts, things like that to kind of keep that edginess on our menu. Oh, <laughs> super exciting. And I love the fact you know, anyone that works with different charities and anything that you can do just to be 
a better person, to give back. I think it's so important mm -hmm. um, because I think once you're giving back, other people see that you're working, you know, doing different mm -hmm. things and they want to be better and give back as well. So I think it's such a great thing to do. Um, yeah. But our timer went off. Yes, let's so check on let it. Let me see that baby. All right, give me a second here. Oh, perfect. Oh, she looks pretty great. She pretty does great. Look pretty. Let's see. What um, I want to grab. I'm gonna grab these tongs right okay, here. So let me we'll pull the plate over. Let's here. see. We, just, we didn't have too much spillage, so sometimes no. it spills over the side. I trim these little bad boys perfect. off and say, "Sorry, you didn't make the cut here. today." Hmm. All right. Trim them off. Isn't it funny how you can use scissors in the kitchen? Right? Yeah. I know. I'm a scissors girl at heart. I'm a scissors girl. No knives at that smoothie no, shop. I'm no. like, some days. Oof. All right. So oh we have some fresh how... strawberries here. Yes. So I do like to give it a little kind of, you could use, I really at home, I use ghee. It's kind of like a clarified butter. It's okay. a little bit healthier. Spray butter. It also works pretty easily, pretty fast. You can spray it on top to give it kind of a little fluffiness. Mm -hmm. Little open glaze. This. Oh yeah, pop that oh, baby open. Yeah. Do the strawberries go first. <laughs> and then or? we're actually gonna do a little dollop of whipped cream first. Get that on the top, and then okay. some strawberries, Let's some do fresh it. berries, and off we've we go. Done blueberries. We've done a bunch of stuff. So give it a little beautiful kind of dollop there. Everything in moderation is our philosophy at the store. So yes, we eat whipped cream. We yes, eat chocolate yes, chips. Sure you do. We eat the normal <laughs> things. <laughs> well, I look um, really forward to trying it later. Yes, Thank we'll you so much for here. being here. Yes. It was absolutely wonderful. I love what you're doing and I love the, the clean ingredients and freshness that you offer at your cafe. Thank you. Look at it, and you fanned it out. Yes, just like I fanned. fanned. I learned how to fan yes, today. It's beautiful. So excited. And then I even got this little bit of mint oh, that can go that. on it. And it's Show so up. cute. Thank so, yep. you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, it's a delicious, yummy Thanks breakfast. for joining <laughs> us. My name is Anya Dushan, one of the owners here at our amazing European Lounge. We have three concepts under one roof. The major one is Stola Bar and Restaurant. Once you finish dinner, you can come over and, and, and have a coffee or tea and, and, and something really uh, delicious and sweet. So we go from a traditional to contemporary atmosphere with our menu. Um, a lot of what we focus on primarily is European in origin, but we also take in consideration our own region and add a lot of buffalo flair to those different menu ideas. We wanted to have people walk in the door and, and be wow. A lot of them be like, wow, I, I don't feel like I'm in Buffalo. And we hunted down the, the right bar stools, the right chairs, the right tables. This is a destination place. You come once, you'll come again. Hello, and here we are, Stolat with Anya at Stolat Bar with Cody Clink. Um, Cody, you'll be making us a espresso martini? Yeah. Yes, espresso martini, because you pair that up with um, so nicely, um, Tori actually made, Tori Adams mm -hmm. from 716 Nutrition, made us a protein waffle. Yeah. Waffles are not just for breakfast anymore. Looks good. It was so good, yeah. yes. Um, so uh, I've tried that. I you know, go to her shop all the time. It was just so amazing to have her here today. Um, and I thought, you know, well, you thought that an espresso martini would be a perfect fit. Yeah. Um, you know, something to start the day with. Um, you know, you eat the protein waffle, you feel good about yourself. You deserve <laughs> to reward yourself. Sure. Right? So we're going to do an espresso martini. Okay. Um, you know, fairly simple. We're going to have some espresso vodka. I love coffee. I wake up in the morning. I know this is different. <laughs> but I love coffee. <laughs> it's my first, it's my routine. I wake up and I have coffee. So just looking at the coffee beans makes me think of my um, my mornings. I mean, you could start your day with one of these wow, if you I really could. wanted to. <laughs> um, we're gonna put some fresh brewed espresso in there. Beautiful. Look at that, right from Kushiki Bakery. Of course. Did you brew that here? Yes, you did. Yes, of course. I love that. And I love it that we offer a fresh espresso um, here. It's not just, you know, a coffee mix of some sort. Right. Um, oh, yeah. So 
people love our espresso martinis here because they are truly delicious. We're gonna so do a little bit of brown sugar simple syrup. Okay. And then oat milk. You I love, love oat my milk. oat milk. I, I love my oat milk. Beautiful. It truly is one of the best martinis. At least I hear that on the floor all the time. So it's not just me saying it. It's, it's a funny thing. I mean, I just, I feel like we have groups of people that just come in and they just, they just want espresso martinis. Yes. <laughs> I, you did a great job. You're an amazing mixologist. And I love this it. This is the second version of it. And it's it's hard to think that we're gonna maybe have to do a third because this is this one's just so popular, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, we'll just keep it. Go, go for it. No. <laughs> Do I your muscles keep getting bigger and bigger? <laughs> All right, let's see how this works And here comes heaven. Love it. Love, love, love what you do here every single day. Thank you. Um, what else do you love about being here? Because I love you. Because. You're my kid, but you have to. <laughs> no, honestly, it's a family business, and I love you know working with you every day. Sometimes, if I take a day off, Cody will text me, "Where are you? How come you're not here today?" So I know he really loves it when his mommy is here too. <laughs> yeah. um, it's uh, we really Keeps all have fun. To, it does keep it fun. We keep it fun. Um, we have a great relationship, all of us, with our whole family and friends that are here, and our team is so fantastic. And um, so I guess let's cheers to that. Yeah, Ready? Absolutely. Do it. Stella. Stella. Nice throw, Vier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. good. God, it's a good one. That martini. one's good. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs>this is a destination place. You come once, you'll come again. Anya Dushan and Stolot are connecting with you on social media. Find Anya on Instagram at anya.dushan. Use this QR code to get there. You can check out Anya's photos, philosophy on life, leadership advice, and how Anya is empowering women. Plus, find Stolot Bar and events by Stolot on Facebook and Instagram. This season, we hope to see you at 4475 Transit Road at Eastern Hills. Welcome to Stole Out with Anya and our special guest. And today we have Kenyana David and Robert Grant. Thanks, you guys, for being here. I'm super excited. Thank you for um, inviting us. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. I'm stoked. I'm super stoked right Yay. now. Yeah. I love that. Yep. So let's relax. We have an espresso martini. We have the Cody made for us here at Stolat. Shout we out have, to Cody. Right? <laughs> Everybody loves Cody, the bartender. Um, and then uh, Tori Adams was here this morning from 716 Nutrition, too. And she's been cooking up some waffles with, mm. they're actually protein waffles with um, strawberries, whipped cream, and just an amazing recipe that she put together we'll have on our Instagram page. It looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, it looks I really can't good. wait to dig into Stuff. it. You have to try and drink and chat. So I was really excited to have you on, both of you. You're both business owners. I'm a business owner. Yep. Um, I feel diversity is really important in our community too. 
and I really wanted kind of to talk about it. How, where you've been, how you started, um, the amazing things that you do from charities to networking, which I know both of you are unbelievable networkers. Is that a word? Yeah, it's a word. It's a word. It's a word. It's a word. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Rob, let me hear you. Hear about your story. Okay. Well, like you said, you know, you know we're entrepreneurs. So, yeah. like, I'm a serial entrepreneur as well, and I'm serving entrepreneurs because who does not know? what entrepreneurs go through more than another entrepreneur, uh, correct? For sure. So um, how my, my little path was untraditional, how I got into corporate America, but um, I'm here. So you are. Yeah, so um, I started in the music business and I had a lot of major and minor successes in the music industry. And uh, my aunt, she actually taught me about corporate America because she would get like booked like $150,000 to do like corporate events. Okay. And I was like, what? Who's your aunt? My aunt was Donna Summer, the oh, queen of disco, the cultural look icon. Look at that. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. So um, I just said, let me see what's going on in, in, in the corporate world. So <laughs> I wrote I wrote like a, a, a resume, what I did with my independent label. And uh, I started to get all these these uh, insurance companies and all these other people from wanting to get into sales. but do insurance and all that other stuff. I'm like, I don't like all that stuff. I don't want to be that kind of guy. And then one day this credit card processing company uh, called me and said, do you know what credit card processing? I'm like, I mean, I got a credit card. Sure. <laughs> I know how to process credit cards, but I don't know what you're talking about. And they told me, said, yeah, just go into a business and you know, tell them you can save them some money. And if you get the deal, we'll give you a bonus and then you'll get a monthly residual off their account. I'm like, what? That's all I got that's to do? Easy. That's easy. I'm like, that's easy, right? <laughs> so at that point I was living in Orchard Park, like Lackawanna borderline. I sold about, that week I sold about 12 accounts. So one of them was like a huge one, uh, it was a uh, car star collision. Okay. So after that, I got a ton of referrals and they were like, oh my God, oh my God, we can't believe you sold all these accounts. But as I got deeper into the credit card industry, I realized how kind of decisive and, and you know, they could they would lie about a lot of different things, right? So I'm like, guys, I live right down the street from this pizza guy I just signed up. Why are you changing the rates? Why are you doing this? Yeah. Why, you know. So I left that company and then maybe I say three or four years later, I moved from company to company, just getting more knowledge, getting, you know, to, to learn the business. So then I finally got to one of the Cadillac processors and they actually taught me the business, how it really worked. And then from there, I was with them for about four or five years and I built huge, I mean, I've, I've got huge accounts because of them. They had a great brand. It's amazing. Yeah. And then, um, Eventually, they started doing what everyone else did, changing the rates and doing everything yeah. like that. So and I said, now you're on your own. Now I'm on my own. Amazing. So, yeah. So I love that. Yeah, I do. I wanted to be an advocate for the small and mid-sized business. Sure. So and I, it's about building relationships, correct. right? I mean, yes. it's really about building relationships and and, and tr having people trust you. Yeah. So that sums it up real quick. Just how I got into. Yeah. It. Got into I love it. it. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, we all have a story, and mm -hmm. there's always, um, you know, a uh, I guess a road ahead of us, and we just continue to. Do whatever you need to do to, you know, to be successful, to be a good person, to do a good deed. So mm -hmm. tell me about you. When did you start getting into, I guess, dipping your feet into business, or was that always your goal? Um, it was not always my goal. We don't want um, to sip this as we but, speak. But cheers um, to business. Yeah, cheers to business. Uh, yes. I feel like I can't just have that first step. Before. Cheers. It's real. It's, cheers. It's, it's yeah. Kind of, we're, we're, so I'm not gonna yeah, go yeah, over yeah. too much because I don't want right, to drip it. Try. I want to. I want to. I want to sip it. So I want to drop it all. Here we go. Mm. Delish. That is good. Delish. Ooh, Cody. All right. <laughs> so no, it was not uh, my plan A, but I've been in the entrepreneurial space for a little over a decade. Oh, wow. Um, the business that I operate now is my third business, um, and I kind of got into it because I failed forward. Um, the first business was a publishing company, okay. and um, it didn't work out. And then and my okay. second business, I got to about almost five years. It was an editing firm. I was editing um, business documents for um, companies, schools, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Um, and then Grammarly and White Smoke and Ginger and all of those came out and it just wiped me out. Um, and then when I got into my doctoral program, um, I was really always into the education space, oh, yes. um, so I kind of moved into this. So that's what I do now. I educate entrepreneurs and small business owners. What is your business called? 8118. 8118. Um, that is the overall company. Okay. Um, it's a boutique marketing firm, but within that, there is an international e-school hmm. that teaches directly. Gotcha. I don't know if we asked. What was your Well, it's WNY Merge Consulting, so that means Western New York Merchant Consulting. Love it. So do you feel like it's been difficult um, at all to start your own business? I know you said one, two, 
because you know some some make it some don't i've been there done it as well um and i remember when we had to shut down at one point one of our locations it was so hard mm -hmm. and my husband kept saying just cut the cord cut the cord it's okay it's okay yeah. to fail right and then you move on right yeah. and you know it's it's hard it's yeah. hard it it's is. a lot of work but yeah. like i said i mean i think having you know building those relationships and and making and networking with the best of the best yeah. um and you know trusting people um is what makes us successful sure yeah it was extremely tough for me in the beginning like yeah. first three years it sucked you know <laughs> especially coming from the music industry sure, and totally having different. like these highs right yeah. and then i start a whole new business and like everyone's it's, it's like, a little dry yeah you know, yeah, yeah it's not music yeah. but so <laughs> but you know, it's a great business yeah so i had to get part of the community i had to build connections i had to network i had to show value um, you know, I show people I actually cared. You know, Buffalo's, you know, I love Buffalo, it's a great city, but you know, they wear this, this dress on their sleeve, but once for they sure. once they get to know you, and they know you're here to stay, and they know you, you got their back, they got your back for life. Yes, so. I agree. Buffalo community is beautiful. You ready, to, you ready to taste a little? I am ready. Yeah, yeah, all right. Let's try it. Tori is such a sweet little thing. I say little. Um, she actually went to high school with my, uh, Cody. She went to high school with Cody 10 years ago at St. Mary's okay. and um, ended up opening the same thing. She went to high school to college for something completely different and here she is, opened her okay, own here business. Go. Here we and, go. Um, this is actually uh, you know, a lot of protein, gluten-free, dairy-free actually, well, other than the whipped cream on top. I like mm -hmm. the protein this aspect. Good. I'm in the gym a lot, so you always need protein mm. when you're in the gym. I always said like waffles are, oh, it's fattening, it's carbs. She did a really good job on this. This is really good. Isn't that delicious? It's really good. It's light and fluffy. Mm hmm I like it. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having mm, us. Yes, thank I love it. I love learning more about other business owners and some of the struggles, you know, yeah. and just being real. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, there's nothing fake about it. Right. But there's no reason to say, oh, I'm just so great and business is so great. Sometimes <laughs> it's not. Yeah. You know, it takes a lot of work to build it. It really it does. For so sure. I, I appreciate, you know, the honesty and I appreciate what you do in the community and being here on the show. I love that so much. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Until next time. Anya Dushan and Stolot are connecting with you on social media. Find Anya on Instagram at anya.dushan. Use this QR code to get there. You can check out Anya's photos, philosophy on life, leadership advice, and how Anya is empowering women. Plus, find Stolot Bar and events by Stolot on Facebook and Instagram. This season, we hope to see you at 4475 Transit Road at Eastern Hills. I would like to thank my special guest and of course Cody at the bar. For all the recipes and information on the show, go to our Facebook page and our social media. Thank you for watching us, Still Lot with Anya. Until next time. Sponsors for Stolot with Anya are Stolot Bar, a restaurant bar featuring European-inspired cuisine, 4475 Transit Road at Eastern Hills. Cruzchiki Bakery, combining old-world European treats with modern-day fare in Lancaster and Eastern Hills. Are you interested in featuring Simply Pierogi on your menu? Perfect for your restaurant or venue. Contact us today. Events by Stolot. Planning an event? Host it with us. Transit Road in Eastern Hills. And Pierogi Pete's, now open at Casey and Transit Road in Amherst.